Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer on this New Year's Eve. Lots to talk about in this update. The atmospheric river now looks to run through 1-9, but there's definitely a twist to it. I'm um, seeing some pretty high snow levels with this all the way into even Utah at this point. Um, certainly that's been the case in California. Um, and when you look at the second period, the 1-3 to 1-9 period, what's going to happen is the storms may be strong when they hit the west coast full of atmospheric river moisture, but then they actually go a little more ragged and turn weaker, 1-3 to 1-9, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, so there's not as much moisture left over for snow. Um, after they move in with some ridging stress. So we'll talk about all of that uh, coming up. Um, first start, first off, I want to start uh, with uh, Park City. Got a note this morning um, that it was actually raining at the base, and indeed, um, looking at just some of the temperature numbers, 35 degrees at the base of Park City and some rain. Um, so seeing temperatures pretty marginal even in um, the Wasatch at the base areas. Um, Alto is reporting a base temp of 33 with a mid-mountain temperature of 28 and a peak of 25. So that's very interesting. This is a, definitely a warm atmospheric river push. I mean, the flow is rich off the Pacific. The source region is warm. You tend to see this with, with a lot of atmospheric river setups with just abnormally high snow levels. In Colorado, uh, Steamboat's been doing well. They picked up another eight overnight. That's 188 for the season. And this is their snowiest December in 10 years at, uh, at Steamboat in Colorado. You can see the flow here on infrared. Um, still a pretty strong flow west to east, just picking up all that, uh, that uh, moisture off the Pacific. And then these lows will entrain it and then move it in to the interior and we're seeing that now but there's a little twist down the road as I was talking about let me show you the forecast jet stream and you'll be able to see it so this is one nine so we're not talking about the perfectly west to east conveyor belt here we're talking about a little bit of amplification with the jet stream on one one nine maybe even one eight and one seven where you've got little troughs and those are the low pressures so there's a there's a change in this and you can actually see a little bit of a ridge across um, the west coast of Intermountain West running through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. So that's going to change the game a little bit. And that will weaken these storm systems as they come in 1-3 to 1-9 through Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. So the numbers have gone down in a lot of cases. Um, so let me take you back to let me take you back to the blog here. I want to show you what I put out this morning. New Year's atmospheric river through 1-9 with a twist. The twist is um, the amplification of the jet down the road with a little bit of uh, ridging stress, high pressure ridging stress on the Intermountain West. There's still going to be snow, just not the huge, huge numbers um, that we had talked about maybe a few days ago. Um, so there's Steamboat. Take a look at that. There's the pattern. I just mentioned it now. Let's go into timing. So this is the forecast radar and satellite. Here's Sunday morning at 6. Now, this is a pretty big storm coming through uh, into Monday at 6, and then it's out of here. Now, watch what happens. There's Tuesday at 6, little, little pieces kind of um, just moving through the interior. Big storm hits California on Thursday, um, and there's Thursday at 11. But by the time it starts to make its move, it's less consolidated, and it'll still deliver some snow to Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, but not the big numbers, not the big numbers. All right, back to the blog here. I want to go into forecast totals, and I've got some specialty maps in here for this today. Uh, I think you'll enjoy. All right, so here's the first period, 1231 through 1-2. Um, still some pretty good leftover snow there um, with new snow coming in late in the period. In California, a couple of feet of additional snow on the way. In the uh, the Wasatch, of course, though, you've got, uh, you've got rain falling to the base area of Park City right now. Um, in Colorado, you've got uh, one to two feet of snow potentially on the way between that period and four to five up in the Tetons. All right, let's look at period two. So this is one three through one nine. Um, really big snow in the Sierra, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 inches. And there's a lot in the Pacific Northwest as well. Idaho does well. The Tetons do well. But notice the Wasatch 10 to 12 inches through that entire six-day period. That's it. And in Colorado, maybe another six to 14. That's it for that period. Um, and only two or three for northern New Mexico. So you're still talking about some snow, but it's more of a kind of a trickle over several days um, as these storm systems kind of lose, lose some of their punch as they pull out of 
California as they pull out of the Pacific Northwest. Um, let me just show you this map. So this is my Colorado Central to Northern Mountain Zone forecast. And these are totals from 1231 all the way through 1-9. And you're looking at 1 to 2 feet generally, more up around Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. But um, you can see the numbers through Loveland and Summit County. Um, I've got a, a map here for uh, the Wasatch totals from 1231 through 19. We're looking at about uh, 35 to 40 inches, the most in obviously big in Little Cottonwood Canyon with less. And these are mid mountain um, grand totals. Um, let's look at the Northeast. So this is 1231 through 19. And there's not a lot here. There are a couple of storm systems that come through. Um, with some rain initially and maybe some wraparound snow, but I just don't see any big consolidated storm systems with a lot of cold air. It's kind of a one to four inch snow through that entire period. All right, guys, that'll do it for this New Year's Eve uh, update. Have a great day, a good night, and uh, have fun skiing.